Matt Harmon here with Jets wide receiver Garrett Wilson. Garrett, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How are you? No complaints. As I said, even if I had complaints, <laughs> nobody cares. So uh, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about you with Pepsi here. What you what you got going on with them? Yeah, man. So I've uh, I was blessed during the season to take home about three belts or four belts, and and um, you know Bree's got to take some home and Sauce did as well. And and at the end of this week, I have a chance to take home a Pepsi Zero Sugar Rookie of the Week, um, a Rookie of the Year. Excuse me. So. I'm really excited to see how that, that voting finishes and, you know, a lot of great candidates, so I'm blessed to be a part of the uh, the candidates. A lot of great candidates, mostly on your own team, as you mentioned. Yeah, I, mean, I know. You guys <laughs> absolutely, I mean, Joe Doug was killed the draft this last yeah. year. You guys developed yeah. really well. Um, what was the bond like in that rookie class this year? Um, it was a great bond because, you know, we could talk about anything with each other. We're all going through the, the same thing relatively, and, um, you know, it's not often you come in with two other, you know, rookie first-round picks. Mm -hmm. So. For me to know that I had two other dudes in the facility going through, you know, exactly what I was going through and um, everything being new to them and putting a lot of pressure on themselves, you know, it felt good to be able to bounce my thoughts off of them sometimes, you know? Yeah, 100%. I mean, again, congrats on a great season. Thank uh, you so you're much. With, with Pepsi uh, talking about it, so that's yeah, pretty good yeah, yeah. stuff. Um, one thing I noticed with your season in particular, wide receiver is kind of the position that I focus on the most. I watch most film on. Early on in the year, it felt like you were roll, rolling mostly as a slot receiver, and especially in those Flacco games, the first 3-1. And then the more that you got felt like integrated into the offense, the more they moved you to the perimeter. Do you have a preference on, like, you love playing inside, outside, either position? Um, I knew I wanted to be able to play both just because it makes you harder to match up with, but – Personally, I like I like playing in the slot. Yeah. You know, it's easier to get yards in there. It's easier to see how the defense is unfolding, and sometimes you can get matched up on linebackers, which you know shouldn't be able to guard you at all. So it's a um, nice advantage. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the slot is just a little a little easier. You know, the 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 uh, outsiders here they got like the boundary to work with the mm -hmm. sideline, and and um, you know I like both of them. I want to be able to do both, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, I like that point about, you know, not just the matchups, but also, like, you can kind of read coverages a little bit better yeah. from the inside. I feel like you're a bit more on the same page with the quarterbacks, especially a guy like you had to play with multiple quarterbacks yeah, this year. Yeah, for sure. No, for sure. I, I agree. So um, just getting those reps on, like I said, you know, inside and outside helped me out, you know, dra dra uh, dramatically throughout the season. You played with a great receiver in college uh, in Chris Olave, another great yeah. rookie this year. Um, talk to me a little bit about his game and what makes him such a special player, too. Yeah, um, you know, Chris is smooth like butter. That's what we always used yeah. to say. You know, he gets in and out his cuts really well. And, and uh, you know, it looks like he's gliding out there. And, and to see him succeeding like he was this past season doesn't surprise me at all. You know, he uh, he goes about everything the right way. He trains the right way. He he, uh, he works the right way. So, you know, I'm, I knew that as soon as he went to the Saints, he would, he would be, uh, you know, have a good season. He definitely did. You had a great season as well. Who's a better Who's a better route runner, you or, or Chris? Who's a better route runner? Yeah. From um, a technical standpoint, obviously, uh, you know, in the uh, details. You know, I, I feel like I, I would stack myself up against anybody <laughs> as far as routes go, but um, I'm going to prove it next year. I'm going to prove it, prove it next season for sure. Favorite route to run? Um, probably like a post. Yeah? Yeah, just take the top off. Deep, yeah. Deep post, depot. We call it depot. Yeah, well, especially if you're playing from the slot, too, you could really rip up the seams, oh, yeah. everything like that. And they got to respect stuff. the whole field, you know. You, you got to respect the corner. They got to respect the, the post, you know. So Yeah, especially give them a good head fake at the at the break point there. Yeah, that's a, that's exactly. when you can really rip off a couple big plays. Um, you played with another great receiver coming out in the draft this year, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Talk to me a little bit about his game. Yeah, Jackson is a, is a cold-blooded man, man. That boy is uh, just a call, – we call him the natural. We call yeah. him the natural. He's got hands. He's got – He's got feet, he'll throw you by, he'll make you miss, you know, he'll, he'll do the laundry for you, you know. <laughs> he'll do cold. the laundry for you, that's good stuff, yeah, I like that. You know, Jackson's cold, man, so so uh, I'm confident that wherever he goes, he's going to have a huge impact early. Yeah, it sounds like he could be one of the first two or three receivers drafted, oh, so yeah, that'll be pretty be, exciting. Sure. Yeah, you know, if they don't, if he's not, there's a problem, I promise. Yeah, I think I saw like an interview with you and Chris saying he was the best of the three of you guys. Yeah, which, oh yeah. That's pretty big praise, oh, yeah, considering I stand what you guys on that. did. I stand on that. Jackson, no, no, I stand on that. Uh, C.J. Stroud, you played with him as well. He's coming out in the draft this year. Uh, what can people expect? To, uh, see, I love learning about the rookies now because I kind of like during the NFL season, I'm more focused on you guys. I don't really watch a ton of college ball. So talk to me a little bit about what can I expect from him as a draft prospect. Uh, yeah, he's an even kill dude, man. He's uh, he's always in control. He He's never too high, never too low. Um, and then as far as the, the intangibles go, I mean, he's ac he's as accurate as I've, I've seen at quarterback. You know, he puts a lot of touch on the ball. He'll take it off. He'll put um, he'll put some oomph on it if he needs to. Just a really smart quarterback, really smart player that um, that you know I was blessed to play with in, in college, honestly. And um, you know, at some point I could see him taking over a job and 
and being you know the man for an organization. So I'm excited to see where he ends up and, and what he does with, uh, with his career for sure. How many times have you been asked, uh, whether you're doing radio row, postseason interviews, about like who's going to be the quarterback next year? And are you sick of being a- being asked that question? You see, I'm not asking you the question. I appreciate I'm that. If you're sick of being asked about it. Yeah, already. I appreciate you, Matt. Um, you know, honestly, man, I've been asked that question in every interview. So, yeah, yeah, it's probably been about 20, 30 times, and <laughs> and um, I keep giving the same answer. I'm trying to get the same same answer. I'm trying to be as consistent as I can be, but. Um, yeah, man, I'm kind of tired of answering it. I ain't going to lie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, how about you just ask me about me? You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you just talk about me and not They're other asking positions? me like I got something to do with it. You know, like I got my hand in who we get. Like, I don't I don't know. You know? Well, you're saying you're not uh, walking into the office and being like, here's a couple of things I think. Here's here's my breakdown for everything. Man. Nah, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Well, hey, you're a good guy, Garrett. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go over a couple of fantasy team names with you. You know, okay. Yahoo Sports, obviously big for fantasy. You had a great fantasy season. Thank you. Uh, very big surprise, honestly. Uh, you know, I think that how consistent and how great you were at times. A couple of these fantasy team names, and by the way, they are bad. They're intentionally bad. We okay. picked not good ones, but I want to see, like, do you approve? Is it okay or not? First one here, good Wilson hunting, yes or no? No, that's tough. That's so tough. I love that movie. I was going to say, you see, uh, I've seen Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's that? Is that Matt Damon? Matt Damon, Ben Matt Affleck, Damon. about 100 years ago, yeah. it feels like at this point. Robin Williams, RIP. <laughs> Robin Williams. Damn. Yeah, that's a great movie, man. So, good team name or bad team name? I love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll prove that. Next one Will Sons of Anarchy. Like Sons of Anarchy? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I never really watched the motorcycles. I, I wouldn't get yeah. on one. I don't like that name. Okay, no, we're not on that one. All right, this one, this is weird. I don't even really want to say it. Uh, Dangle the Garrett. Yeah, I mean, no, nah, that one, that one's a no. No, that one's definitely a no. Okay, no. moving on. Garrett Cake. Like gar- carrot cake? No. Yeah. I feel like if I have to say, you know, like this or that, it's already <laughs> a bad sign. All right, last one here for you. Where are the Wilsons? Where's Waldo? What is that? Where are the, where are the Millers? Yeah, 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 like that. Where are the Millers? Um... No. So we got one yes, and uh, the rest were no's. Uh, well, a couple for Brees, since he's got a very uh, yeah, let me a hear good Brees's. name, too. Yeah. Brees Lightning. That's but, tough. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's yeah. tough. All right, cool. We like that one. Uh, this one's not good. I'm going to spoil this one already. Brees Curds. Like cheese curds. Again, see, if I have to say like this or that, that's yeah. not a good sign. All right, last one here. Easy, Breezy, Lemon Squeezy. That's pretty good. That's creative. I'll, I'll give it up there. That's pretty good. I mean, Brees has a good creative name that you can uh, you can do a lot of stuff no, with. Sure. Uh, but, you know, good Wilson hunting. If you're going to have a Garrett Wilson fantasy team name, that's the only one that's approved by <laughs> Garrett Wilson himself. Hey, man, appreciate you coming out. This appreciate is great. Good to, good, on, to, good to talk to you, man, and you good luck dog. this season. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother.